These are those moments you don't look down. Ha! Well, we just got into a little place called Aspen. It's where the beer flows like wine and the women flock like the salmon of Capistrano. Also happens to be the birthplace of this little book that I'm revolving my entire life around, the 50 classics. All three of the guys that wrote it all live here in Aspen, and we are going to meet one of them. Since we just showed up last night, and I have no idea about skiing here, because I've only been here for like X Games, uh, we're gonna get some beta, hopefully. I think we're packing to go do Pyramid. Do the, the Landry line off Pyramid. I feel like I haven't even seen this mountain and I'm 100% relying on other people saying it's good to go. So uh, Pete Gaston is coming over. He's a buddy of mine, Solomon team, and schemo racer and ski mountaineer and knows this place really well and is more fit than a racehorse. But then it sounds like we might get Penn. Penn Newhart might get him on his first time ever going up there, which is pretty cool. One of the authors of the book. Happy to be. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Good to see you. It's been a while. It's been a very long time. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. The first descent was in 1978. The second was in 2006. And now people are like popping off on it left and right, right? A couple times this spring. Yeah. yeah. Like this year it's going to be skied a lot. Last year it's probably skied half a dozen times. Jesus. Um, the descent today was the first descent of this year. Yeah. And it's early. Like, it's rare to ski in April 4th. Yeah. We're sledding the first four miles. Dead yeah, And crossing it. a large avalanche degree here. Another huge slide here. There. And then we work our way up the Forest Service Road that's snow covered to the Maroon Lake Trailhead. Yeah, and then you go up here. You go up uh, there. Yeah. Nice. And then you go up the banana. The banana's right there. there. Oh. What Pete was saying is you actually take the right exit. It makes it a little bit easier. This way? Like, and yeah. you can go just behind this. And then around. Yeah, no, the right exit um, is lower angle. But, I mean, just so it's said, like, Jordan yeah. and I walked across this. I'm, if you're comfortable skiing Pyramid, you're comfortable to walk across this. Yeah. Um, so you go across 100 feet to there along the ridge. And then this photo I sent you with the tracks. Yeah. It's right here. Yeah. And then it's actually kind of airy right here for a second. Yeah. Because then you boot up the ridge, watching for the overhanging cornice. Yep. That exposure is real. 800 feet. Yeah, it's real. Um, yeah, Anything over 100 is real. Yeah. Um, and then it, it's not that it benches, but it kind of mellows out for a second. And normally I go onto the face a little bit, yeah, and that's... back on the ridge and on the face a little bit. That's what I was noticing. And looking at the pictures of it, it seems like it's kind of you're dancing back um, and forth. The biggest thing is the last rock band and yeah. skiers either go left uh -huh. and wallow in facets yeah or they climb through i much prefer to climb through yeah i gotcha um you can't get more exposed in colorado yeah, yeah. um so pete um earlier you were talking about the warming pow and as a father of four that gives me a little bit of concern so talk about your rationale there well i think since this was heat yesterday or today, mm -hmm. I think a lot of that snow has been sloughed off for us. Mm -hmm. So it's not a primary concern, which is a good thing from a safety perspective as long as everyone skis conservatively. Yeah. I think it's a great time to go ski the Landry Line. Yeah. Go <laughs> So we're driving up Maroon Creek Road and uh, headed up to Pyramid Peak to ski the Landry Line, hopefully. Um, sounds like conditions are good. Uh, we got a good report yesterday, and um, you know we're gonna go up there and check it out, and see what happens. It's mainly I got a text from Pete last night about 10.30, um, saying that he's backing out, mainly just because of his lung issue that we were making fun of him for last night. He's like, it's pretty serious, and he said uh, he just uh, knows he shouldn't be pushing it and relapsed to where he's been, had a horrible lung, lung infection for the past few months. He was like, yeah, you guys are all good. It's not a safety thing. Meanwhile, we go tow on this snowmobile for a few miles. Mm. 
You got me? Yep. Got you. Let's go ski. Let's go ski. How's it going, team? Good. Massive debris piles on the road. There's some big slides in here. We had what uh, most people in the state of Colorado consider the biggest avalanche cycle in uh, 300 years. about that Stand time to do this and that. I think this is the banana shoot. Pat and I were discussing it earlier. A boot up here, we're on the ridge line and then a 13K saddle. Another thousand feet up to the top. The peak is like 14. And I think 014 maybe? Yeah, it's like we're almost 14 flat, as I saw. And I think we're at like 12 right now. So another 2,000 feet, which is good because not too bad. Yeah, I'm not even remotely tired at all. No, me neither. That'd be great. Yeah. Starting the boot packing portion of our day. I think the cloud cover is doing us favors. I mean, timing and warmth is the number one issue on this line, and we're doing well on time, but. Clouds might help us out as far as the sketch factor of warming up, but keep moving. Look at being an amp there breaking trail. What a what a great camera man. There she is, Pyramid Peak. Nice to finally actually see this line in person. I was having both my left and right hamstring lock up on that booter. Um, my back is just angry. I, I don't want to slow you guys down because, you know, we're we're on time now, but not early. I think I'm going to watch you guys from here, and then I'm going to ski some north-facing pow down and meet you guys back at the sled. Yeah. All right, later. Have jump, blast. jump, jump, yeah. jump. Bueno. I think we have good climbing conditions and good skiing conditions, which may be a first for the season. We got about 300 more feet to the top. So keep moving. We gotta move slowly here. Because that's under. That is steep, man. That is pretty steep. These are those moments you don't look down. Ha! Summit. We got to do the changeover pretty quick here because it's getting warm. So we better get down this thing. What happened? Well, my boot's broken. This part fell out. So this is gonna be interesting. 
I'm gonna just heli strap my boot shut as tight as I freaking can. Broken boot, weird little bit of punchy snow, a little faceted, oh God. sticky. Get the heart going. Whoa. Be careful in here, it's rocky and faceted. Super slow. Whoa, huge moat. I don't like this backwards doing this. Just cause it's like, you're gonna fall in that way. That's the turn of your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a fun turn. Yeah, just with the, uh, you just roll over to who knows how big of a cliff. <laughs> That's like some legit cow. Some rocks over here, so be careful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's definitely not good. Well, there's our exit chute. We should move out of here quickly. It's getting hot. Just, yeah, no, it is getting hot. And regardless, like we're in the freaking gun barrel and even if I think the gun isn't loaded I don't like sitting at the end of a gun barrel no of course so rock ball yeah oh we're starting to get some naturals it is Time to get out of here. Feel good right here. This is the sketch part. We're a little behind schedule. When we get out there, we're good. It's time to go, oh, for sure. Because I think this is our last opportunity. Um, I'm just gonna ski out, kind of cut around there and go ski down that Abbey Pass. Wow! This feels like skiing through a battlefield. This is kind of terrible. All the big slides have mainly gone. But maybe there's one that hasn't. And that's the one you gotta worry about. Hey Bjarne, guess what? What? I'm tree skiing. Yeah! Yeah, Pen. Well, I can see why you guys put the line in that book. It looked like the top was kind of... Top was sketchy. Yeah. Top was... I think it took you longer to come down it than it did to boot up. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, it was sketchy. It was like very super faceted on top of rocks with yeah. like like aspect changes. was yeah. getting like kind of almost yep. these like 20, 30 CM slabs popping off. Like just yeah. No, I could just, see pieces moving. Yeah, it was like yeah. it was definitely it was like you the guys that went up there before us, they down climbed all the way back down. Yeah. That's freaking steep up there. And it's like 
very yeah. close to a very big cliff. Yeah. And it no, rolls it, over and it's like, it's full value. I mean, the, the bottom part where I, once you guys dropped in, it looked like you guys made some nice turns. Oh, was it like that the whole way down to the choke? Or uh, was the choke bad? The choke, no, the choke wasn't too bad, but like, it, I mean, it was full ski width wide. Like we were just, we just like rally side slipped it. And it was like pretty simple, easy. Nice. But we were, we did like, as you're coming out the other gully, the main from pyramid, we just see this like boulder going <laughs> and like some slough coming out. We're like, cool, let's get out of here. Yeah. It's about that time. Nice, sweet yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. So Great day nice. in the mountains. Everybody's home happy. Yeah. yeah. yeah.